good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys. As you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be painting my stock wheels gloss black today. You dig what I'm saying? Um, super simple modification. Got my boy Versatile Speed in the back. Make sure you guys go tap in with him on his YouTube channel. You got a whole bunch of content coming. Y'all just stay tuned. The time for the vet to come home is coming very, very soon. You know what I'm saying? So it's about to get real crazy and real rowdy in this joint. That's all I'm going to say. If you guys want to go check in with the vet and stuff like that, go tap in with him on his YouTube channel. Where can they tap in with you, brother? And Versatile Speed, man, on the Instagram and on the YouTube. Yes, sir. The whole nine. You dig what I'm saying? But as you guys can see, we got the wheels here. We're about to go ahead and start cleaning them so that see we got the wheels on this little black mat got the sun shining so once we're needing them to dry you know what i mean they got direct sunlight to dry while they uh you know curing and whatnot so what we're about to do is about to go ahead and get these all masked off and then start getting ready to lay the first coat man and just like that y'all you dig what i'm saying all of the wheels are masked off now it's time to go ahead and hit that first coat. For today, we will be using the two times ultra gloss clear, the fusion all in one paint and primer gloss black. And yeah, man, it should come out and look ridiculous. Honestly, I'm hoping that that two, the that this fusion all in one black is good. I've never used it before, but I have used this gloss clear, and I know it works wonders. So. Let's go ahead and get into spraying that first coat, man. you guys so as you can see got the first coat done again shout out to my brother versatile speed first coat is done and you can already tell that they're gonna look amazing just off of the first coat so we're gonna be doing 10 minute intervals so let's go ahead and start the timer all right you guys so I had to do some investigating right I had to find out what the hell these were so these are brimbos it says it on the back which is cool as I suspected now however these back here FOMO Co is. Somebody explain to me. FOMO Co. Huh? That needs to say Brimbo. You know what I mean? That's all I want to see. The hell is FOMO Co. I've never heard of that before. Definitely need to uh, see if we can get an upgrade. Also, you already know I got to do the drill and slotted rotors. Uh, power stops definitely coming soon. So, yeah, man. I'm going to go ahead and look at the time, see how much we got left. Got about a minute and 31 left on the timer, as you guys can see up top, I think. Uh, so, should be able to go ahead and do the second coat. So, right, man, y'all make sure y'all go ahead and drop in the comment section down below. Happy Green Hornet Day to the gang, man. It's my boy's birthday today. Big goddamn 35. You know, goddamn, gotta come back on. <laughs> Big 35, you know. Big shouts out, man. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to my boy. Y'all go tap in. Go give uh, his most recent video some love. Drop a like on it. Drop a comment. Go show my boy some love, though, for real. Happy birthday, brother. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Okay. Hey, grind don't stop, baby. Grind okay. don't stop. You know, you know we working. You know we working. Always working. Hey, I already know. You know I'm, you I'm actually, Hey, that's gonna look... I ain't gonna get the camera on, you know what I'm saying? I, I wanna see it. You gonna finish it today? Yeah, it's gonna be done today. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know. That's what's up. We, we, we working, we always working. Five minutes later. Alright, you guys, quick update of how the wheels are looking, man. This is coat three. This is after coat three. So, probably gonna do like two more coats of that gloss black. Make sure these joints hit. And then we got all angles. We did not do the barrels just because 
they're gonna get dirty anyway, so they're gonna look black anyway as they do right now. So I don't really care for that. Um, so after like maybe two or three more coats, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with that glossy fire. All right, you guys, quick little update after the uh, fifth coat, I believe. No, the fourth coat. Right now, I'm about to spray the fifth coat on there. But just wanted to let you guys see how they're looking. They're actually coming out pretty good, man. I'm not even gonna lie. It's my first time using this uh, paint company, but so far, no like drips or drip marks or anything like that. So definitely happy with them. About to go ahead and spray the fifth coat on, and then we'll start the gloss fire. All right, you guys. So this is what they look like after five coats of gloss black. Came out pretty good. I can't lie. Like I said, no spots or nothing like that in the paint. Everything laid out smooth, it looks good. So now it's time to hit it with the gloss of fire. All right, y'all, so Loki got some bad news. As you guys can see, the wheels are kind of like looking a little matte after hitting it with that gloss of fire. So I think what I'm gonna end up doing is letting it dry and then hitting it with the gloss black again. Um, and then I'll probably just wrap it up from there. I don't know why the gloss fire is doing this. It also did it to my boy Versatile Speed when he was painting his little brother's wheels, my boy Ian. Um, so Queen, King, Queen, and King and Queen on TikTok, y'all go tap in with them. Um, but yeah, man, I don't know why it's doing that. Like it has like a, it almost looks like plastic dip, I guess you could say, after putting that gloss fire on there. So I think what I'm gonna do is just end up spraying it over with black again. Um, the clear is still on there. Um, and then let it dry and hopefully they get that shine that I'm looking for. All right, you guys, so finished product. I'm not gonna lie, it came out pretty clean. Um, that glossifier definitely did kind of mess me up, but they look pretty good for what they are and I think they're gonna look good on the car. So speaking of that, let's go ahead and throw them on the car, man. Pull the car out into the sunlight. I did wash the car yesterday, so I'm gonna pull the car out into the sunlight and take a look and see how they look. All right, you guys, so Got the wheels, mounted back on the car. The car is on the ground. I'm not gonna lie, it looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and get a camera to my boy Versatile Speed. better so much better on the black on black man. And I love how the center cap on the wheels is already black with the chrome so it flows well with the lug nuts don't worry about how one is missing if you guys know anything about Fords then you know the lug nuts suck on these joints but yeah man Oh, that shit's hard. It looks so good, bro. Yeah, it came out nice. It looks so good, bro. Holy crap. Shit. All right, y'all. With that being said, man, that's actually going to wrap up today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. If this helped you, you know what I'm saying, decide if you're going to paint your base model wheels or not or showed you some tips on how to, you know what I mean, mask off the tires and stuff like that go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section down below let me know what you guys think of the staying on black on black wheels you dig what i'm saying but like i said it's gonna do it for this video if you're new to the channel please subscribe i'll see y'all in the next one peace